welcome to this lecture on science and technology so in this lecture first we will understand the syllabus of science and technology we will see what are the different topics that we have after that we will analyze the important topics how many questions are asked in which year and we will analyze the topics which we have to focus on after that we will start with the indian defense industry we will broadly see you know the composition of indian defense industry what is the budget and all after that we will study about the missiles that are you know, the different the different missiles that the indian army the indian navy and the indian air force currently uses so if you see the classification of topics the first it's defense technology the defense technology we have missiles we have about the different exercises that take place between the countries so and various other programs the government defense procurement programs and all various the programs also comes under this defense technology so after that we have the space technology where in which we will study about the different aspects of space technology we will study about the isro the different launches of isro the latest happenings in the global space technology and also the different issues related to this space technology you know the nasa isro everyone launches their missions every year we we'll, we have to keep an eye on all these missions because questions are directly asked in this and also after that we have the nuclear technology in the nuclear technology we will be focusing mainly on the nuclear process like fission fusion and the nuclear policy of india and the nuclear technologies and the nuclear reactors in fact okay this is about the nuclear technology so after that we have the information communication technology this information communication technology is one of the most important because in the past few years the number of questions in this area are more so this is one of the important area information communication technology so in this mostly we will focus on the latest happenings around us you know the different technologies that we are getting day by day you know and we, we have some static as well as the current aspects included in this information communication technology okay after that we have the biotechnology the basic sciences and the miscellaneous and current current affairs for the basic sciences you know we have to look at the ncrts and we have to know the basics you know more, this is what is happening is you know the ups is not asking all the basics of sciences mostly the questions are based on the technological aspects and the current affairs okay and in the current affairs and the miscellaneous what we are going to see is the technologies the applications of the you know the applications of the various technologies that we are getting day by day the displays the amulet display uh, you know and also the quantum dots the various technologies that are developing day by day and we get the current affairs that we will be focusing in the miscellaneous aspects okay now if we look at the analysis every year roughly 10 to 15 questions are asked 10 to 15 questions are asked every year if you see in 2018 13 questions are asked in 2019 11 questions are asked so that means science and technology is the area which we cannot neglect the number of questions are fixed and we have to make sure that we score the maximum in this area because once if we know the concepts we will be able to you know, answer these questions easily so the, if you see the important areas the first is information communication technology as i told you already the world is moving towards the fourth industrial revolution the fourth industrial revolution is related to the information communication technology so information communication technology is very important for us so as it is very important for us in our day to day life the focus of upsc is also increasing on this area that is about the information communication technology after that we have the space technology isro has been doing wonders over the past few years so the focus of you know upsc has also been on the latest things that are happening around us so the focus is also there on the space technology isro as well as nasa and various other space agencies are launching various missions to the space to the different different planets so all of these things comes under the space technology if we understand the static concepts well we can relate them with the current affairs because in the exam the questions are not asked directly application questions are increasing in the upsc day by day okay so understanding static part is important so we have to update the current affairs after understanding the static part and also the questions on biotech are increasing because the biotechnology is, is one area where in which we are progressing and this is also very important for us so the questions are increasing and also every year there is one or other question from defense related from defense related uh, information from defense related area like the military exercises or any other missiles or all these things okay 
so we cannot neglect this and along with this the current issues the current affairs the latest technologies that are coming up so the important thing in, in this is we have to know the basic principles let's say you know 5g you are, we are all talking about the 5g what is the basis of 5g you know what is the basic aspect that is the 5g the basic principle that is what we have to focus on we should not become an expert in that but at least we have to know the basic principle you know we are, these days we are talking about artificial intelligence what is artificial intelligence you have to understand those basic things the basic the basic concepts okay the quantum dots and and various other things the robotics quantum dots you know the big data the data sciences all these things you have to understand the basic concepts understanding these basic concepts will help us to relate to the current affairs and with that we will be able to answer well in the examination okay 